Hello, my name is Daniel Wiley. I lead the incident response team here at Checkpoint. This is the first in a series of discussions around the state of the internet uh, from our team's point of view. Today we're going to talk about a handful of uh, major events that we've been tracking, but it's also really important for folks to understand that these attacks that we see are global in nature, can be very targeted, and they are doing a significant amount of damage to customers' environments. So to start with, we've seen a proliferation of ransomware attacks. Now this is nothing new for the internet, but what we have seen is very targeted attacks around ransomware events. These targeted events are uh, specifically targeting customers in uh, specific verticals. We've seen medical, uh, we've seen industrial, uh, we've seen financial industries being targeted specifically uh, to go after their environments uh, to ransom them. We've seen a very large proliferation of uh, ransomware uh, of, as a service, and we've also seen a proliferation of ransomware uh, that is using RDP connections to be able to break into customers' environments. These attacks are horrific inside of a customer's environment. They do complete damage. Uh, in most of our customer cases, uh, all of their infrastructure has been encrypted, and the customer is completely left in the cold. Uh, we've been engaged in many of these cases. Just in September, we've handled, uh, with major cases, around 14 major cases in our, uh, in our casework. And these cases really do a significant amount of damage. Uh, in one case, one of our manufacturing companies that was targeted with one of these ransomwares was losing somewhere between three and four hundred thousand dollars an hour in productivity because of uh, lost uh, uh, capability within the network. Now, these ransomwares take many different forms, but we see TrickBot delivering these at attacks. Uh, we see um, uh, other variants that, that aren't known, are generally known uh, uh, within the internet. And we see these uh, attacks, uh, again, uh, both targeting them, uh, individual customers, and then also uh, uh, being used as a generic uh, delivery mechanism with uh, uh, phishing emails and other mechanisms. But here's the thing. All of those ransomware events could have been uh, avoided with some very simple uh, controls. The first, uh, obviously, is to be able to patch the environment. Most of the ransomware is, are utilizing vulnerabilities that have been around for years. Uh, in most cases, they are using some lateral movement techniques, so making sure that you have strong AD protections is absolutely vital. And lastly, if you do expose an RDP server directly to the Internet, be prepared to have these ransomware attacks targeting your uh, RDP servers with brute force login attacks. And if they do get in, they will utilize lateral movement techniques to be able to take out your network. These ransomwares are hellacious. I encourage everyone not to get to a point where they have uh, an opportunity to be exposed by these events. They are absolutely traumatic. So beyond just malware around ransomware, we're also seeing a significant increase in cloud-based attacks. These attacks take many forms, but the classic example is a uh, compromise with credentials, where the attacker utilizes credentials to log into Office 365 and then lay off the land and look at all of the infrastructure that he has access to. And specifically, he monitors communications and, under and gets an understanding of all the emails and starts understanding the context of who this victim is. What we see the attacker is doing then is utilizing all that information to create additional chaos within the environment. And these attacks could be many different, uh, can take many different forms. Uh, for example, we've seen customers that have been in the, have had their inter communications intercepted uh, to such a degree where they've, the attacker has been able to manipulate the conversation to steal money. Uh, in one case, we saw a customer lose $6 million uh, with a very simple email scam where the attacker was able to identify the communication and the, the, the email thread where there was bank routing information being exchanged. And exactly the right moment, the attacker then inserted a new message with a new bank routing information and utilized that to have the victim transfer all the money into a new bank account. This happens a lot. We've had many cases over the last few months specifically around Office 365 compromises and bank fraud. 
We then also see the attacker do additional fraud within the environment. Uh, this could be things like uh, phishing scams or, or other extortion kind of uh, events. Uh, and then to make even matters even worse, uh, if the attacker finds no good information around a credentials or accounts that he's compromised, he utilizes the account to actually send out word uh, additional phishing kind of scams to uh, victims. So it's absolutely vital that you take Office 365 security uh, at heart and you need to have additional controls that provide you visibility and control. It's absolutely vital that you turn on additional logging uh, within the Office 365 inf infrastructure and make sure that you fully understand all the controls that are available to you and how to turn them on and make them useful within 365. But then additionally, it's also important to take a look at a CASB type solution. These solutions provide you additional security capabilities that the traditional uh, Office 365 security controls can't. And those controls and that visibility provides you an extra layer of protection um, above and beyond uh, the Office 365 controls. Now with all of these types of attacks uh, around cloud infrastructure, everything I've said is also uh, applicable uh, to Salesforce and other cloud infrastructures. We've started to see a small trend toward other cloud providers and SaaS providers. So ensure that you take all of these lessons and apply them to other areas of your network. Now, on the malware side, uh, like I said at the first part of this conversation, ransomware is very uh, prevalent in our customers' environments. We've seen this over and over and over again. But we've also seen a very large increase in banking Trojans, specifically Emotet. We've seen at least seven cases in the last month, specifically around Emotet. And Emotet, uh, the banking Trojan, basically is designed to be able to steal banking uh, uh, credentials and also has the ability to do additional uh, lateral movement within your environment. And once Emotet's in your network, it is actually quite difficult to remove it uh, from any of your systems. We've had customers have had uh, some of the legacy security controls or security controls from generation two and three, and they have absolutely no chance uh, to be able to respond to these banking Trojans. Now, once we get engaged with some of these events, what we're finding is that we actually have to rebuild the entire security landscape within a customer's environment. Emotet is one of those examples of this. Uh, we've had multiple cases where we've had to replace the entire security infrastructure, including the firewall, the endpoint, and all the other security controls to be able to actually just even have a chance to fight against these more advanced malware sets. Now, what's interesting about the trends that we see inside of the incident response team, a lot of them mirror some of the uh, uh, statistics and the analysis that our threat cloud researchers are finding. But what's even more important here is that these examples of the events that I've described is nothing new. These are the same events that we've been dealing with for the last six months. So as part of the series around uh, uh, providing you an incident response weather report on all of the events that we're seeing and the general trends that we're seeing, keep in mind that what we're finding is that at least for the first half of 2018, we're fighting the same battles over and over and over again. And it's absolutely critical that you evolve your security controls to have a fighting chance. This is the one lesson that I am imparting on everyone that's watching ensure that you evolve your security. Make sure that you have a fighting chance. Thank you very much. Have a great day.